I'm uh, Spencer Basin. I'm 16 from Lebanon, Indiana, and uh, it's my first time at the Chili Bowl, so I'm pretty excited. Uh, this is my first year in a midget. Uh, we teamed up with Ryan Clawson uh, for this year. We were in Power Eye, and um, and it was it was kind of rough at the start, and um, I it took me a while to get used to the to the car and the and the feel, and I have to try to slow myself down, but. Um, yeah, now we're here at the Chili Bowl, so this is my first time down here with them, so I'm really excited. Oh my goodness, this place is uh, it's, it's spectacular. The, the size of the building and the amount of people in it and the quality of people in it and uh, all these cars and drivers here all under one roof. Um, and it's in the middle of winter, so it's during the big break and you get to have lots of fun driving and stuff, so I'm just, I'm pumped to be here. I drew 36, so um, I guess that's good. They said second row, so. Uh, got a little bit of work to do, but um, I know there's lots of good drivers here, and uh, I'm just excited, excited to race. So, ready to go. In his first ever Chili Bowl heat race, 16-year-old Spencer Baston rolled off third and made a late race move to pick up the heat race win and set himself up well for the qualifier that evening. In his qualifier, Spencer started fifth and advanced three spots to finish second and put himself in a great starting position for Tuesday night's main event. Baston started third in Tuesday's 25 lap feature event and held his own against many Chili Bowl veterans. He found himself in third as the checkered flag flew, which is good enough to lock himself into Saturday night's A main event in his first ever Chili Bowl appearance and also set up for a very emotional scene in victory lane. Good job, buddy. Good job. Oh my God. <laughs> Good job, <buddy>. Hey. Holy <laughs> cow. Wow. You are in the A main of Chili Ball. And you were What was their goal? The wear the absolute. suit. You're wearing the suit. Uh, I don't know. <laughs> I'm in shock right now. This is a, a dream come true just to be in it. I know this is only prelim night, but this is my first year here. And, uh, Everyone you see around here, standing around the car, it would be impossible without him. I cannot thank them enough. This kid right here, I don't know if you can see it, but Ben. This is all for him. Racer Trots is here, so, buddy. Yeah, first trip ever to here, the Chili buddy. Bowl. We got you uh, on a camera right over here on top side. First trip ever to the Chili Bowl, Spencer Baston. You just got yourself a podium, young man. Yeah, I guess. That's what they're telling me. I don't know. I'm, I'm in shock right now, so. I just, I don't know if it sounds speechless. I can't thank all these guys standing around here enough. Team owner Brian Clawson was thrilled with his young rookie's results. Ah, it's awesome. It's, uh, you know, we've, we've spent a year working up to this, and uh, you know, he did a phenomenal job. It's uh, yeah. tough to come here as a veteran for the first time, but to come here with, uh, you know, a year experience yeah, in a midget yeah. and, uh, and do what he did tonight is, is unbelievable. But, uh, you know, I... I we talked before the night got started, and you know, as good as he was yesterday in practice, I felt like uh, you know, he was good enough to run top five tonight. Um, but uh, he did a phenomenal job, and uh, you know, got one in the sh in the show. So that's uh, it's a pretty special moment for him. And, and uh, you know, being the Racers for Autism car, Ben Williams special, it's uh, makes it that even better. I'm Peyton Pierce. I'm an 18, 18 from Bridgeport, Texas. Uh, this place is awesome. Uh, I've had good runs and bad runs. Last year we made it all the way up to the B main, which is way better than my very my first year two years ago. We only made it to like didn't even make it out of the K main when I ran for Murdoch. So definitely been good running with these guys, getting a little bit more experience and been running in good equipment to have the chance to run up front in, in this race. Uh, it looks like we drew good. We drew 39, which should put us somewhere in the middle of a heat race, depending on how everyone else draws. So hopefully, hopefully that'll start us off good and give us a chance to get some passing points and make it into the A without having to run a B or anything. It feels great, the car felt great every time we are out there. Even when the track was blown off slick, the car would hook up good. And Al, Al always has, this, has the car right where we need it to be and hardly ever does he make a mistake. So it's, I'm excited to see what tonight has in store and see how, how we do.
While crossing the finish line in third in his heat race, Peyton and another car made contact, nearly causing the Priority Aviation 18P to get upside down, leaving the crew guys with a little bit of work to do on his car to get it ready for the qualifier later that evening. While Peyton's heat race efforts were good enough to land him in a qualifier, he still found himself with work to do in a B-Main. Peyton's night came to a close on the opening lap of the B-Main as he found himself upside down in turn number three. It was a frustrating night for the young Texan, but he was still able to gain valuable track experience moving forward. Uh, yeah, heat race, we had a good start. Uh, missed the bottom once, got passed. Uh, jumped up to the top too late and had a run on second come to the checkers and kind of got stuffed in the wall tore up some stuff but still finished there good enough to put us in the qualifier qualifier we started last and was able to work our way up to the eighth on a tough track i was i was struggling a little bit which not enough to put us in the a unfortunately but started in the back of the or in the middle of the, of the b just had some bad luck on the start and ended up upside down and Ended our night early, but all in all, it was, it was a fun night and a humbling night for sure. While Ricky Stenhouse Jr. finds himself racing on Sundays in the NASCAR Sprint Cup Series, he enjoys a rare opportunity to get back to his roots and climb into a midget. Getting back to my roots is, um, is always fun. I wish I could do it more often, uh, but uh, Richard Marshall from Priority Aviation has uh, teamed up here with Brian, got all four you know, cars looking good. Um, and so he's a great friend, a great partner, and uh, so he's a he's allowing me to come out here and, and race midgets again. Uh, hopefully, we can do it throughout the year a little bit more. Um, you know, it's uh, something that I love to do. I just don't get to do it very often. And um, you know, I think if we could do it throughout the year, I'd be really you know a lot better prepared coming into Chili Bowl and, and really have a good shot at it instead of you know just coming out here you know once a year. So uh, roots are fun, uh, the people are fun, and. Um, you know, just getting to talk to, you know, all throughout the uh, pit area here, guys I used to race with and uh, crew members that, that I saw on the weekends. Uh, man, it was just, it's just cool to be with them. While starting seventh in his heat race, Ricky was able to maneuver his way up to a fifth place finish falling one spot short of walking into a qualifier that evening. Yeah, man, the, uh, the heat race, you know, I thought we drew a good pill and started at the back. Track was a little narrow, uh, but thought we would, uh, you know, accumulate enough passing points to, to get to a qualifier. Uh, you know, I told myself fourth would be a comfortable place, third would be, would be really good for us. It's kind of the goal I had going into the heat race. I only got to fifth, it seemed like everywhere I went, there was a car, uh, and, and by, you know, I just, just couldn't, couldn't get around them. Thought we had plenty of speed. Uh, Priority Aviation uh, 17 was uh, was hooked up. That put us in the sea. Ricky started on the pull of the C main and ran away with the race to transfer into the back of the B main. Um, but felt really good. Got some more laps in the C, uh, running the cushion. Uh, felt good about that. Uh, when I got down to the B main, uh, we, you know, we started 13th. 15 laps had run top four. Uh, reworked the track. We made a lot of adjustments. Al did a great job on the race car tonight, uh, giving me something I can work with. Run the bottom, run the top. Ran the bottom the whole uh, whole uh, time in that B main. Uh, transferred out. Uh, last car transferred in that that run fourth. After charging through the B main to start in the back of the feature, Ricky was able to work his way up to a 12th place finish in that night's main event. Uh, and then the feature, um, you know, we tightened it up quite a bit. Got a little too tight at the beginning, uh, made some adjustments on the uh, end car. Uh, I saw Al on the side giving me some signs which ones to tie down and I uh, got rolling the bottom, uh, passed some cars and just made too many mistakes once I, uh, once I got rolling there. I thought we uh, you know, had a top 10 car um, for sure. Uh, I think the driver made too many mistakes to, to get that to happen. We um, stayed on the bottom too long a little bit and uh, three and four should have got to the top and, uh, and railed it for uh, the rest of the race. And, Got caught out in the middle in the slick a couple times, but uh, all in all, from where we started, um, you know, back of that heat race and, and not making the uh, the uh, qualifiers, um, you know, I thought it was a pretty good night to, to end up 12. Friday night kicked off with Brian Clausen starting his Chili Bowl title defense in the dueling marketing Rusty Coons Curb Records owned number 63. Well, obviously, you know, you want to you want to win them, but you know, it's just about 
when we have the car uh, as strong as ours right now, it's just more about not burying yourselves too deep. You know, you got to be be smart and take what you can get. You know, get into the qualifier and then uh, you have a good enough run to where uh, you're sitting in the first three, four rows of that feature. You know, obviously be easier if you're off the front row, but uh, I feel like our car is strong enough to win from anywhere. So um, just got to uh, uh, you know, just keep ourselves out of danger and, and uh, get through clean and it should be all right. Uh, you know, it's been up and down. You know, obviously we started on a on a real high with Spencer on uh, on Tuesday, locking straight into the feature, and uh, you know he did a great job. And then uh, you know Peyton had some trouble on the second night, and then uh, you know Ricky had to work really hard last night to to, to have a have a solid run. So uh, it's just been one of them one of them weeks. It's been chilly bowl. You run enough cars, you're gonna find find some trouble. And uh, but uh, you know we got one locked in, and uh, we got Jason going tonight, so it should be uh, uh, you know sitting all right. Friday also saw Jason Johnson qualifying the fourth and final BCI entry. Well, you know, I come last year for the first time as a driver, and uh, I had a lot of fun and definitely want to come back. And just a great opportunity to come back and drive for, for Brian Clausen and be a, being a part of this priority aviation team. Um, you know, it says a lot about, you know, the skill level of this team. And i um, looking forward to this. And, like, practice day on Monday, I felt really good, really comfortable. Very first time I sat in the car, um, the guys did a wonderful job. So I feel pretty confident that we could get this thing in the A main, and you know, you just never know what's going to happen, you know, A main time. So if we keep our nose clean, you know, our goal right now is to get in that A, you know, A feature and um, you know, make the most of it. Coming into the Chili Bowl with only a handful of laps and a midget, Jason found himself on the track a lot on Friday as he worked his way into a qualifier out of his heat race. After transferring from the B main to the A main. He finished 20th and gained valuable experience with the BCI crew. You know, the guys, Claus and Racing did an excellent job. They worked on the car, you know, all night long. I just kept giving them feedback, and um, it made it better throughout the night. So, you know, the, the track got pretty tetris there in the A main, and I just see a lot more experience. You know, we drew the back of the heat, and it, the, the track wasn't real wide. So, you know, I didn't know exactly where to pass or how to pass, but I felt like once we got in the clean air, we really got rolling really really good so um, you know then we come back in the qualifier and we start ninth so we definitely had our work cut out all night it felt good once we got to the outside pole to be main to have some clear racetrack obviously I got to run the, the, the heat the qualifier to be main and you know the a main and um, you know every time I pushed off the guys made changes to the car and just it just changed the feel of what I was feeling so it better our communication throughout the night we already have a game plan going into tomorrow and uh, I feel confident in our team that we're going the right direction. After cruising through his heat and qualifier with wins, Brian found himself on the pole of Friday night's A-Main. He went on to become the only driver of the week to lead all 25 laps of his prelim feature and picked up his third career prelim feature win at the Lucas Oil Chili Bowl Nationals. I you know, just kind of kept up with the racetrack. Uh, you know, this thing's been uh, pretty spot on since I popped in it two years ago, but, uh, or I can say two years ago, last year, just uh, no Rusty Coons, everybody uh, that works hard on that to priority aviation curb with its car. It's, uh, you know, it's, it's an honor to drive it. It's, it's been uh, fast and spent loaded on practice day, and then uh, obviously made a statement during that race of champions on Tuesday night that uh, they're going to have to come through us a little bit. So glad we could get through tonight clean. You know, it was, uh, it was all, it's all Tuesday night what, uh, you know, what can happen leading these things. So I uh, was just happy to get through the night clean and uh, put ourselves in position to win another one. Saturday at the Chili Bowl proves to be one of the longest days in racing as over 300 drivers battle it out for the remaining 12 spots in that night's 55-lap main event. Peyton Pierce advanced to the H main, Jason Johnson worked his way up to the C main, and Ricky Stenhouse Jr.'s run came to a close in the B main, leaving Spencer Baston and Brian Clausen as the lone survivors into Saturday night's 55 lap feature event.
After leading the first 26 laps, Brian got caught up in an incident with second place running Darren Pittman as they were working their way through lap traffic. This relegated him to the back, but Brian was able to work his way up to a 10th place finish. Yeah, we were really good early on there, just uh, probably a little too good too soon, but uh, uh, our part of aviation, aviation car was real strong, just uh, as the track got uh, wider and, and a little bit ledgier, we uh, just got a little too tight, but um, we were still kind of in the battle there, got to, got back to Rico in lap traffic, and uh, he was definitely the car to beat, especially in open track, but uh, got to him there in lap traffic, and uh, was kind of trying to feel our way through there, and then obviously uh, you know, that yellow came out, and uh, um, kind of all heck broke loose and we got caught up in it, but uh, that's the way this race goes. Um, you know, we were fortunate to have a clean week up to this point and just, uh, you know, wrong place, wrong time, but uh, you know, we're, we're right there in cont contention and that's all you can, uh, that's all you can do. Chili Bowl rookie Spencer Baston rolled off in the 11th starting spot and after logging many competitive laps, Spencer pulled into the infield and was credited with an 18th place finish. Good enough to make him the 2015 Chili Bowl Rookie of the Year. It's, I mean, it kind of just shocked me at first, uh, but Big Al over here, he had the, the tune-up on the uh, car, and uh, that definitely helped uh, get me to where I was, and uh, I can't thank everyone behind me enough. It was good. <laughs> Al had her tight, but the uh, car was fast, uh, faster than the driver, and then uh, we got kind of tangled up there on the front stretch and bent a couple things, and that made it a little tricky, but we were still able to pass a few cars, so... Uh, I told myself as soon as I saw the leader, I'd be pulling into the infield to get out of the way. So, uh, yeah, I can't thank everyone enough behind me. The car's bad fast. This is probably one of the best weeks I've ever had in racing for sure. So, um, I can't thank everyone enough. It's a huge conference build builder for sure. Um, it kind of sucks though because next year I'm going to be expecting to do really well. And if I get stuck in a D May, it's going to be like, oh man, this is awful. But um, I think. I mean, the car is always going to be there with Al tuning on it and Brian with the coaching, but uh, as long as the driver can keep up with it, we'll be there again. As we look back on the 2015 Chili Bowl Nationals, BCI team owner Brian Clausen had many partners that made the week possible and as successful as it was. I'd say it was a successful week. Maybe not uh, quite as good as we'd hoped, but uh, we had a big week for uh, you know Spencer getting in the show tonight. Obviously had a little bit of a tough go tonight, but... Um, getting him in the show and Rookie of the Year, I think, was, was pretty big. And then, uh, obviously, we put ourselves in contention for another one, just uh, came up short. Yeah, you know, there's <laughs> probably too many to list, but uh, Priority Aviation, uh, the dueling machine, everybody uh, on this, uh, Jonathan Birds Racing, uh, B&H Contractors, uh, Construction Turnaround Services, um, everybody that, that plays a part on, on not only this dueling machine car, but... Uh, uh, our BCI cars as well, Corey Tucker, uh, uh, everybody that plays a part in that, is, it's, uh, it's pretty special. It's a big week for everybody, big week for our sponsors, and uh, to go out and have a, have a good, solid week was uh, pretty big for us.